I am 26, and this is episode 26. Andrew, how you feel? Birthday, Baxter. Thank you. I'm, I'm also feeling rather 26 on this fine Memorial Day weekend. Remember our fallen veterans, Andrew, as we enter this department store full of ambulatory coffee cups and violent records. I probably... remember all the fallen veterans, including us. Like, <laughs> there's a graveyard somewhere with about 15 tombstones bearing the name Lars. Accurate. Because, man, did we die a bunch of times on the last episode. Thank you for that tight recap. So, uh, explain to our audience, if you will, what you have done in order to facilitate our uh, progress through this department store. Yeah, if you, if you keep b bizarrely close uh, tabs on like the statistics of the characters of our characters in this game, uh, I basically walked in and out of this building about 75 times yesterday and fought monsters until my guys stopped dying, which was pretty cool. So that's what we did off screen. Yeah. Just so people know, uh, all that's different is our level. Yeah. We haven't progressed the story or anything like that. You oh. Know, it's... oh, shit. Ha-ha! <laughs> Run! No. That was the wrong way. Blah! That's what. Oh. Yeah. You really, you really did level up a lot. Ah. I, I learned you can, you can trap those guys on those uh, planters, and sometimes you can slip up behind them. And then, if I can hit them twice, they go down without being able to hit me. So I think we should be able to get to the top of the department store today. I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling good about it. Get to the China department? Yeah. The bedding? And the <laughs> housewares? Lingerie and haberdashery? Yeah. I like to keep those two really close together, because, you know, that's where I get my freak on. They're pretty much, you know, one person that's looking for one will likely... Be looking for the other. Yeah, I need a, uh, a lace teddy and a sick fedora. Have you ever noticed the bizarre way in which department stores are organized? That uh, they'll always have certain items uh, out of their respective department on little islands. Like, you'll be in, in the belt area of the department store, and there will be an island with, like, perfume on it. Yeah. I mean, I, I wonder what sort of research, like, goes into... Obviously, they're trying to sell you that. They're saying, okay, well, someone comes in and is looking for belts, but we, we want to make sure he walks past a bunch of other stuff. Right. Before he gets his belt. Because we, we want to entice him to buy other things. So, we're going to decide that perfume is the thing he might want to buy. And I wonder what sort of research goes into that, deciding that. I mean, like, the big department store chains probably have, like, decades of sales records that show, oh, crap. This is gonna suck. Oh. How does that actually play out? I mean, like, how many have you actually seen show up in a uh, battle dimension at one time? I think we've seen as many as five or six bad guys. I, of of these seems, things... It seems a very... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. But it seems to vary by, uh, species. Like, now you're fighting records. I'm, have you ever seen more than two records? No, I've, I've never been, like... I've never been two to... Uh, more than two together. In a, in a, um... God. Uh, in an area where I could actually touch them. But there were four just now. Well, there, there were four in the... Uh, you, but they didn't all come into the battle at one time. No, uh, those other two got hung up on parts of the escalator. So, I'm gonna... Juice up Rob Z. She was maxed out. And then get up! Yeah, eat it! So now we get a chance for a surprise opening attack. Drop a bomb on him. For being a department store, there's an odd music theme in in this one. Yeah. Like, you suppose all these guitars and records and things are 
stuff that the department store was selling and have come alive and you know with a will to destroy you. Yeah, except it's all it's on, they only sell coffee, ambulatory guitars, and murderous music. Murderous music. A lot of Metallica and <laughs> Exclusively uh, Mega Death Records. Dragon Force. I wouldn't call Dragon Force murderous. It's too happy to be murderous. They probably destroy a good number of guitars. It's possible. Yeah. Oh crap. I don't think we should wait. Nope, we're in the right Oh. Mm hmm This is not the right spot. This oh. Um... What is he doing? Is he just, like, walking in place? He's just, you know... Like, hold on. Why don't you tell me, Andrew, what are, what are like, crazy aliens behind desks supposed to be doing? Paperwork? <laughs> They're freaking jobs, for one thing. Gah! <laughs> <laughs> Mah! <laughs> <laughs> this department sir will be your grave. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be gone, and you'll be burning in. Why you go to hell? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, well, at least for that. He's Maybe the department store spook. So uh. Okay, I can't. I guess I want to. I want to run Rob Z's spy first, but I guess I'll just. Pop him one. Offense, defense. He's got no. Oh god. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Uh. I guess we need to life up the old Rob Z. Oh, good. And also, just so you know, it is 11.48 right now. We've probably do been doing this for about five minutes, wouldn't you say? That sounds about right. Uh, so let's, let's, we'll go until, uh, 12.10. Okay. Let's say. This doesn't look so bad. Yeah. I'm just gonna give him the berries. Ah! Uh. Huh, it shook your entire, you know, uh, dashboard. It shook me to my core. Alright, that was... Yeah, that, that, I mean, I never, I was never... Nervous about that. Yeah. You got 12,000 experience for beating that guy. Feeling good about it. Ooh, everybody leveled up. So what level is Lars right now? Uh, let's read what this idiot has to say. And I'll find out. Should be... Monazoli. <laughs> well, where did his corpse Observe go? Observe that painting. What's that painting doing? It's like pink and. I, s I tell you, Eagle Land has some weird art culture. Ah, <laughs> uh, who's that? Who's that guy right there? Hey, kid. Oh, it's that helmet kid. I was thinking oh. it was going to be another Lars. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Let's get through this again. Yeah, you keep saying pictures taken instantaneously. Let's go! <laughs> just do it! I obviously don't have a choice in the matter, so just get it over with. Just, just take it. Get the fuck out of my face! I think we bought all the all the good gear we can get here. I'm I'm sick and tired of this department store. Yep. 
Make sure you buy Naomi something nice on the way out. Is this rescuing her from her kidnappers not like an awesome enough gift? <laughs> Obviously, you don't have much experience with women. <laughs> Saying like at the end enough. of Taken, when he gets his daughter back, she was like, "So where's my Mercedes, ass?" <laughs> then Liam Neeson throws her out of a window. Hey, a mouse. What's up, bro? Oh, remember that mouse? He's the one who told us that the lights were gonna go off. Oh right? yeah. Uh. Hmm. Why'd you take the sudden guts pill? Oh, that's handy. She's just like a sell stuff lady. No. <laughs> Later. Sell me some tickets to that place I've done been to already. Uh, oh, is that the place where we saw the uh, that terrible band in yeah. their terrible act? Oh, uh, during the. Who put you? God, what was it? Uh. While I was grinding, yeah. Um, d while I was grinding, I did go back to the theater because I didn't know what else to do, and I was hoping there'd be a clue there. Um, I went back and saw another show by that lady, the blonde-haired Miss Venus, and uh, there was some kind of creeper like hanging out on the stage. <laughs> and he, like, oh, really? Yeah. Eventually, he like assaults her, and she gets dragged away by security. It's like this game is horrifying. It's like that shit in Forrest Gump, man. Oh man, and the audience didn't get to see that. <laughs> it was it, the whole cutscene was literally like three minutes long. It was it would have been three solid minutes of it just excruciating dead air. A bunch of torturous, you know. I'm just thinking about those shows that 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 like jazz crew. <laughs> yeah, the word it, was like, it was like that. They sort of walk with... around on the stage, and we wonder, like, what are you doing? Uh. Now here's a bunch of stereotypes you might want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy, it, the second from the left. I mean, se second from the right. <laughs> the guy with the mustache. The mustache. Look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. Hey, how you doing, fatty? What's that thing on the wall with the three red lights? I don't know. Also, get the music in here. What the hell? Get out of the Did you see that thing? What is that thing? I think it's a lamp. Ah! It's just got three red... Like... Is it on standby or something? I don't know. Uh... Hey, buddy. It's charging. Okay. Let's go talk to Shigeru Miyamoto down here. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. What? Cool story, bro. Ah! Ah! Uh, uh. Oh, thank goodness. Someone killed those. <laughs> Jerkwads. How about I give you a kick in the balls, kid? Uh... You have this worthless garbage. Yeah, just <laughs> give yeah. him your ATM card. <laughs> Here, take all my money. Corpse. Oh my god, is this Talk the dude from corpse. from Tucson? Oh, hey. Many, many. Many, many. It's that statue. He was talking about that, that weird statue that Car Painter had. Mm. So that's what that douchebag on top of the mountain dug up. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm in pain. I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm experiencing something <laughs> one might describe as pain. Discomfort! <laughs> he tricked a thief. My last holy! <laughs> Listen closely, I shall say this only once. Check behind the counter! <gasps> How do you imagine this guy? You imagine him with an accent of any kind? <laughs> I do now. Frenchman? Yeah. He's ever dread. Do you want to hear it again? Before I go, here's my last haiku. <laughs> when on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye, then lock the door tight. Yeah. Kick it, Monotoli. I mean, Everdrad or who you are. Yeah. What's the form of so a haiku? Uh, 575. Five. 575. Five. Oh. I, I didn't. Uh, oh. <laughs> Glad we got all that out of our our system. Get the hell out of the way! Onward, down the alley. Where the dead guy go? Okay, so we gotta go back to car paint. Oh. Or no, we just gotta find Mom and Oh, uh, he said to go into the cafe and look behind the door. <laughs> Have we gotten any explanation of why this blue man is here and why he attacks us? No. Huh. Whatever. I guess Eagle isn't actually land. around here. He was just walked off screen and immediately died. <laughs> and then... <laughs> well... Uh, oh. The crowd also Cafe. walked off screen and immediately died. He said go well, in the cafe, right? Yeah. That's it. I just want to see if he would still be around here. No. We also were just in here. He said check behind the counter. Hey! What? No! God. Matt, try the other. Try behind the counter from the other side. Like what? See, the counter is uh, not quite up to the wall. Uh oh, he can't get past there. Well, I'm out of ideas. Hmm. Check, check the the drinks behind the counter. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what sound to make uh, for that. Uh, uh? <laughs> I think that's how you make that sound. Sounds a little bit like a fax machine. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I've been here before. Let me tell you. <laughs> Remember we were talking about Tron earlier? <laughs> oh man, you're in the computer. I I I what? Well... <laughs> you confront RoboPump. God damn it, RoboPump! You're an alcoholic. He whispered three? Oh god, if he whispers two next? Oh crap. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but I assume if he gets to zero, something terrible happens. He just sprays petrol all over you. Yeah, I assume he does some kind of suicide attack. Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Welcome Moon to Moonside. Side. I like, yeah, we're idiots. <laughs> we are too similar to be doing. Whoop. No, don't tell me twice. Moonside. Yeah, baby. Bring it to you, dark here on Moonside. Oh, goodness. Awesome. Do you want to be hopping? I could not have thought of a better way to handle. Do you understand all this? Negative. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Yes, I yeah. do. I don't? Oh. Well, thanks, ass. I'm gonna pretty much write off everybody in this town now. Oh! Whoa. Oh. It's Dolly's clock. Spy on it. He's open to hypnosis. He's not vulnerable to it, he's just into it. <laughs> I'm sorry, why are we here again? <laughs> what happened? We talked to a wall in a cafe, and, um... <laughs> Did we did we just drink whatever was in that bottle? Is that what the implication is? I hope so. Yo, this is how Lars gets fucked up, man. <laughs> Hi. And goodbye. He just whoa. Fight that map. Uh I'm afraid to move. It went behind that tree and zzz. Get it. No. Get that map. I don't want to fight that map. Oh, fight, that map. Fight, fight that pain. It looks like good night. Fight movie. that crying clown. <laughs> it's abstract art and it's <laughs> clearly depicting something. <laughs> Spy on it. Vulnerable to paralysis. What is it? Is this is a banana man and a snowman? <laughs> I don't know, but he's open to paralysis. So I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> you know, man, whatever. Paralysis. At least we're getting plenty of experience. Yeah! I don't think you need more experience. I think we're pretty good on that. Every time you say that, we go into some horrible hellhole where we die a thousand. What the? Isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what playing Earthbound is all about? Horrible Sending hell into holes? some terrible hellhole. Yeah, I guess. Why can't I, like. What? There's like an invisible not... wall here. Are your controls. No, my controls are. Oh! Ah! Kelly. This guy again. I'm spying. 70. He's invulnerable. Get him. Alright. Yeah, there's, there's like invisible walls every. Oh. That doesn't seem interesting at all. Yeah, it seems kind of dumb, actually. Maybe it's a problem with the emulator. Maybe it just can't just... <sighs> yeah, Robopump. Got it. Keep hitting this L button as hard as I can. Yeah, broken into pieces. I hope that... This reminds me, I, I've been playing Fez recently. Oh, yeah? And there is a level... Uh, quote, quotation marks level. You know. Uh, that is much like this. That is all sort of neon and... Uh, it even looks kind of like 8-bit. Well, the whole game really does. Yeah. Or I guess this is 16-bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like this. Welcome to Moonside. You need to play Fez. I played the demo of it. We should play it. that. Then we should play that on our next oh, shit. installation. Oh. oh, oh! Even the hospital is full of monsters. <laughs> Just get out of here, abstract art. <laughs> get out of here. We only like. Academic, you know. <laughs> Give me photorealism or piss off. All you Picassos and all you 
Mondrians, get out of here. We only like boogaroons and I can't understand a word that you're saying. <laughs> Hi. Oh. You know, break two, electric boogaroon. Uh, eyebrows are connected and a gold tooth. Uh, oh, for God's sake. As, as weird as, as everything is supposed to be, it comes off as boring. Yeah. It's like I I don't get it, but I'm. It's not like I'm intrigued by the fact that I don't get it. It's like I'm just annoyed. Why don't you just say, yeah, just just. It's like just say what you mean. Crap! Stop making me fight. I, mean, I feel like we've hit, we probably hit a highlight of this game's of the designers, you know, like one of the more interesting things that they tried to do, and it's. Really boring. Yeah. I don't even want to be here. I hate I wanna, this place. I just want to get out. I want to get out of this, you know, black and neon. So this guy world. takes you to the hospital, and this this bitch be crazy. It, oh, there's the hospital. This asshole. No, you are not a man. You are a pain in the ass. What's a man? What makes a man? Is it the woman in his arms? Just cause she has big titties. How many roads, Baxter, Whoa. must a man walk down before one can call him a man? No less than four. Like, the full length of the road? Yeah, just start to finish. Uh... I think we should call it here. Hang on, let's... What does the sign say? Oh... He sees me! I feel me. like we... We fought a boss this episode. I, I feel like we've done enough. Yeah, let's duck into this hotel. That phone is freaking out. Let's get our money. Man. Somebody put a book on top of that thing or something. <laughs> Hot stack of also, have you, have you noticed that the world has all gone crazy and become neon and, and all that? But all the objects in the world are just the same. Like, the ATM machine is just the ATM machine from the other world. And yeah. it's unaltered. Huh. Maybe it's because they figured those things are, like, critical to gameplay, and you, you have to be able to recognize them in order to do anything. Whatever. I mean, this game obviously doesn't have any concern for our ability to play it. <laughs> Just putting invisible walls around and so forth. Now listen to the music. Hello. It is kind of cool looking though in, in some other ways. Like the fact that that door is yellow but the yellow kind of bleeds off into the wall. And then, I mean it looks like, it, it, it's like the colors are all in squares. And the, and behind the, uh... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... It... Huh. This is weird. It's just an, an interesting device, I suppose. So I this punk guy has to say. Ooh. Yes, I would like some double burgers. Nope. No! Piss off! 
Yeah, let's call Don't it. Don't leave this room. Yeah, calling it here. I'm bored with this world. I don't want everyone to come back. I hate it. I'm thinking about Oops. instead of uh, ever coming back to this world, I'm I'm probably just gonna I don't know drink some hamlock or something. Rob Z, shoot me with your gun. You gotta do it, man. Let's make a suicide pact here in this hotel. Kiss. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. My slash fiction is ruined. Do it. Do it. It will make you stronger. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, nobody gets that joke. What? Nobody gets a Return of the Jedi joke? No, nobody gets why we think it's funny. Oh. Why? why? <laughs> it will make me. <laughs> God damn, that was a bad movie. The Fantastic Four 2, guys. Yeah. Just, if you ever need, like, a reason to be depressed. <laughs> Featuring Doctor Doom as Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, give in to your hate, Mr. Fantastic. I mean, who even remembers that movie now? Nobody. We saw that movie one summer when, when we... When, when I was in North Carolina, and... We're still talking, we're still playing. Well, okay, fight one, one, fight one more dude or something, but... I mean, they, they, they made that whole movie, and... I, I feel like all these superhero movies are gonna kind of be like that, you know? None of them are gonna be particularly memorable. Did you know that The Avengers 2 came out? What? No, it didn't. There's an Avengers 2. Being made, yeah, but... Like... Oh, did, is it not, has it not come out yet? No, I don't even know. No, no. I feel... I feel strong that it has not come out yet. I have yet to see the first one. They made an Iron Man 3 that came out quite recently. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. And it, 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 they all take place in the same universe, obviously. And they reference the events of... I, I didn't know there was an Iron Man 2. Huh. I mean, it's, it's just like... Two, two or three years after each one of these super, superhero movies comes out, nobody will remember them. Especially because they are so frequent. It's like there have been three Iron Man movies. Yeah. Like, who's gonna... Well... It's been said. Quit, stop playing this game. We're done. This conversation is over. I'm... Whoa. Don't... Whatever you do, don't touch that fire hydrant. <laughs> whatever you do to this fire hydrant, he's gonna get off on it. So just don't touch him. <laughs> he's enraged. For reasons unknown. He's just constantly moaning. <laughs> yes! Oh. The water is flowing through me! Water. <laughs> oh, I do so hope there's a fire. I imagine him sounding like heated as a bot. <laughs> a fire. Let the games begin. That's a terrible impression. Okay, we're done. All right. All right. All right. No more. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, but before... Do, do not move, but answer me this one question. What is our plan of attack for next episode? Uh, I think we just need to keep talking to people until we can get a hint about where we're supposed to go. That dude next to this tower, which I assume is the tower we need to get into, said that we need to find a dude whose eyebrows connect. And use something hmm. from him to get in here. I feel like we've seen a guy like that. Uh, let's let's just see if we can get back to regular foresight from the cafe. We can't. Oh. Oh. Okay. Don't. If if it doesn't work, don't save or anything. Just see if we can. No. <sighs> Shove off. No, you're. He I mean, you're you're in it. Yeah. Like, this is this is the next this area. Is the next stage. Okay, it ends here. Don't don't say anything else. I, did you did you just stop it? 
No, I, I just saved it. Oh. Okay, now, from this moment on, do not say anything else, and the episode will end after three seconds of silence, starting now. Oh, okay, it will end after three <laughs> seconds of silence, starting now. <laughs>